So Trevor has asked us this too, and at A and I and B, Trevor, now we're asking for writing 10. Okay, so assets of time, at time two of A, and then assets of B, time nine, has a liability at time five, 95K. Trevor has achieved and is using an effective way to calculate A over B. Okay, well, the first rule is that we want the present values equal to each other, right? So let's do PA will equal to, well, now since the present values of both assets and liabilities have to be equal to each other, let's just find the present value of the liability occurring at time five. So we're going to do 1.04 to the 5. So we're going to do 78083. One four. Now we're going to want to make the durations equal to each other, right? So duration of liability A is two. So we're going to make that times X consisting of the part of the present value plus uh nine and just one minus x uh equals to the duration of the liability so we already got the present value part done now we just want to get the modified part so we're going to do five times 95k discounted back five periods at effective 4%. So we'll do 95,000 times five times 1.04 to the negative five. And we're gonna get 390, 4, 15, 37, 57. And we're gonna divide that by 780, 83 dots, So we found out that the modified duration is five here. Now let's solve for x. So two x plus nine minus nine x equals five. Let's bring this to the other side, negative four, then negative seven x. So x equals four out of seven, which will consist of uh, asset A, that means that asset B would consist of three sevenths. Now let's solve for A. So we would have to multiply this by the present value. So we'll get 78083.07514 times four divided by seven. We're going to do that and then we're going to multiply it to effective um, two to find out the value here. So times 1.04 to the two. So it will be four, eight, two, five, nine, dot, eight, zero, two, three, three. And then the next part is three sevenths. So three sevenths of the present value. Because remember, the assets are always the present value of the assets always have to equal the present value of the liability. So times three divided by seven, three, three, four, six, four point seventeen five zero accumulated by time two times um, one point zero four to the nine. Uh, four seven six two nine. Uh, nine five five. Okay, so now let's divide both. Four eight 
0.2529.8022.3 So the answer is going to be 1.01322375, which will make D the answer.